It seems like everyone these days is implementing some form of image recognition, such as Google, Facebook, and car companies. So how exactly does a machine learn what a Siberian cat looks like? That's what we'll look at today on Feed My Curiosity. ago, images existed on our PC monitors as pixels. Now, with the help of artificial intelligence, we're able to do meaningful things with each of those squares and hexagons in order to boost our productivity and make our overall lives much easier. Today on Feed My Curiosity, we look at image recognition and give a basic explanation on how it works. If you like what you're watching so far, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date with us. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence, strives on completing specific tasks by prediction based on input and algorithms. And if we go even deeper, we learn about deep learning AI, a subset of machine learning which attempts to mimic our own brain's network of neurons to machine learn. Every day we're getting image recognition more involved in order to help us with our personal daily lives. If you see some strange looking plant your friend is growing in their living room, simply point Google Lens at it and it will tell you what it is. If your Discord friend uploads a photo of their new cat and you want to know what breed it is, just run a Google image reverse search and you'll find out what it is. Even self-driving vehicles need to know where they can drive, which is a road, where are the lanes, where they can make a turn, what the difference is between a red light, green light, and amber light, where the stop signs are, well, you get the message. As you can see, image recognition is a huge part of deep learning and it can be both cool and scary. So how does it work? Here's a basic explanation. In order for that car to know what a stop sign looks like, it must be given an image of a stop sign. The machine will read the stop sign and through a variety of algorithms, it will then study the stop sign and analyze how the image is going to look by going section per section. What color is the stop sign? What shape is it? What's written on it? How big is it usually? And where is it usually seen in a driver's peripheral vision? Things like that. If there's any errors, scientists can simply correct them. Once the image has been completely read, it can be labeled and categorized. But why stop with one image? In our perspective, we don't really need to think for half a second on what a stop sign is and what we must do when we see it. We've seen so many stop signs in our lives, it's pretty much embedded in our brains. So, the machine must read many different stop signs for better accuracy. That way, it doesn't matter whether the stop sign is seen during foggy or rainy conditions, during the night or during the day. Because the machine has seen a stop sign many times, it can know it's a stop sign just by looking at its shape and color alone. All of that sounds really cool, right? But it can also be scary. If you upload and back up your photos, go check out your photos. If you haven't sorted anything, you'll notice that Google has done it for you. There's a category for places, things, videos, and animations, and maybe others. And if you go to things, you'll see that Google has has sorted your photos into albums based on where Google thinks they belong. So you'll have photos labeled as food, beaches, trains, buses, and whatever else you may have photographed in the past. This is all thanks to the work of Google's image recognition analysis. It has analyzed over a million photos on the internet, your photos, your friends' photos, strangers' photos, and any photo that appears on Google image search. It's not just Google that uses image recognition as well. If you upload a photo and Facebook recognizes your friends, it will automatically tag them. So yes, it's kind of creepy considering it's a privacy concern, but some people may appreciate the convenience anyways because it saves some time. No matter how cool or scary it is, image recognition plays a huge role in society and will continue to be in development. Many companies are continuing to implement image recognition and other AI technologies. The more we can automate certain tasks with machines, the more productive we can be as a society. However, whether that feels utopian or dystopian to you, well, that's another conversation to be had another day. If you've enjoyed our video, make sure to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with Feed My Curiosity. Until next time, thank you for watching.